foray into an earlier bout. Rick Welliver and Tex Miles, we're gonna pick that fight up in round number one, a scheduled four round cruiserweight bout. All right, we're here in the first round. Rick Welliver, four and one. Two knockouts, he's in the solid black shorts. Tex Miles coming in with a one and three record, one knockout coming into the hometown area of Welliver who comes out of Spokane, Washington. Nice, crisp first, fast shots there for Miles. Miles comes out of Houston, Texas. 32 years of age, almost 32, It'll be 32 in June, almost sort of a late bloomer. Well, we don't know if he's blooming yet, coming in with a one and three record. And of course, uh, well of a four and one, a little bit of punching power, two knockouts. Miles has never been, has only been stopped in his pro debut, and that came against Greg Chocolate Pickram. And I'm looking at this spag. It says here that Miles only weighed 172 for his debut against Pickram. What did Pickram, Pickram for started, that fight? He started much lighter in his career. He had a, a draw early on with the Charles Williams out of Shreveport, Louisiana, who was about 180 pounder. Ah, wasn't aware of that. Well, it's a nice little local match. Rick Williver got the crowd behind him here, but Tex, Tex Miles putting on a nice effort here. Well, Miles coming all the way up from Houston. Now you've seen him train down there, and I'll tell you right now, not looking bad. Doesn't look like a one and three fighter against uh, Williver, the local favorite here coming into four and one. Yeah, well, Welliver's got to look to land one big punch against Miles here, because he's, he's got a lot of skills and a little edge and quickness, Tex does, but uh, Welliver seems to be the stronger of the two, and we'll have to see how it unfolds. Welliver looks a little soft around the middle, though, Bob, for a young fighter. You wonder why he's got that. No, he doesn't seem to be have the size, really, to be a cruiserweight, but you can never tell with guys. You know, sometimes those guys with thick skin seem like they got more body fat. They hit really hard. Welliver came in at 184 pounds for this fight today. He's 5'9", 24 years of age, as we mentioned. Tex Miles, 185 pounds. He's a full six-footer, though, so he's got a good height and reach advantage over Welliver. And he tries to answer back every time Welliver gets a good combination off. Tex guys to get back in and land his own shots. Try to keep the crowd out of this a little bit, but that sounds difficult. Short uppercut landed on the inside by Welliver. Miles comes back, content to fight off the ropes, landing some good combinations from, from in close quarters. Ten seconds to go. We're scheduled for four. Miles. Nice body work there to end the first round. A nice solid shot by Welver to end the round. Round number two, schedule four rounder. These are cruiserweights here on the explosion. Coming out of Houston, Texas, making his way up here to the Quarter Lane Tribal Bingo Casino. Tex Miles. A lot of advice in the corner of Tex Miles in between rounds. Let's see what he can do with it. Nice little fighter though, no power to him at all, but he throws a lot of punches from a lot of different angles and he's having fun out here putting on a, putting on a show for the crowd. Miles' last fight coming in May of last year, knocking out Dean DeLuca in four rounds. Rick Welliver. His last fight back in February of this year, four-round decision win over Kip Triplett up here. All of his wins, of course, coming local in Washington and Idaho. Miles took two years off after that knockout loss to Pickram. I guess he was reevaluating where he was going, Bob. God knows where he was. No, but he's been up here in the Pacific Northwest for the last couple of years fighting to, with Bob Olson in his corner over there, doing a good job trying to get him to turn around his career, trying to do back-to-back -back wins here. Halfway gone in round number two. Scheduled for four. Solid black shorts, Rick Welliver. Black and white, Tex Miles. 
Real first name, Nathaniel. Sounds much more like a fighter, though, being Tex Miles. I like that. It's got a nice ring to it. They got to love it up here in the Northwest, too. Busy hands on the inside. He's not, he's not letting Welliver get his get off, staying busy underneath on him. Welliver doesn't seem to know what to do with him. Miles much too busy for him. Yeah, Rick Welliver's best when he's exchanging punches. They're there. He likes that left hook. Nice body work inside by Welliver. Tends to drop his hands though. Got caught with a combination by Miles. Miles out punching him 3-4 to 1 in this fight. He's got 20 seconds to go in the second round of a scheduled four rounder. Referee Tom Casalovitis. Keeping an eye on the out of towner Miles. Crowd very strong behind Welliver, but Good combination to finish round number two by Tex Miles. Round number three, these are cruiserweights on the explosion. Scheduled for four, Tex Miles. He's got the stripe on his shorts. And the local fighter, Rick Welliver out of Spokane. He came in with a four and one record. Two knockouts. And you can see nice Welliver, warning. Welliver bleeding from the nose and mouth there a little bit. A credit to those uppercuts from Tex Miles. But well, Tex seems to outpunch him four or five to one thus far in the fight, Bob. He's a, he's a very busy fighter. No, he is. He's a much busier of the two, but the, the power shots, and there's another little left hook, although they don't seem to be having much of an effect on Miles, seem to be landing by Welliver. And you don't know the way the local officials will score it, whether they'll go with the clean power shots or the, the busyness of Tex Miles. Welliver's had two wins by way of knockout. Wins coming over Sean Elliott and Sam Weissman. And then we see Miles here getting off again, mixing his punches up with both hands underneath and over the top. Judging though from that roll around his middle, I would have to say that Welliver's not in the best shape of his career. Although he started out his pro career, interestingly enough, maybe they consider this light. He was 200 for his pro debut. And that was back in February of 96. Beating Sean Elliott in a four round decision. Miles out there showing him a lot of things, even though they both have the same amount of professional fights, roughly. It seems like Tex Miles has a lot, got a lot more experience. Very relaxed in there as Miles. Just in case anybody forgets his name, he's got it carved into his haircut. Wide, flashy punches. Welliver though doesn't know how to take advantage of the openings. <laughs> Tech starts with one punch from behind his, his posterior there. But he's doing pretty much what he wants with Welliver here. His work rate just so much busier than Welliver. Welliver's gonna have to turn this fight around with one punch, Arnie. Well, I don't think he's got that kind of punching power, Bob. I don't see any evidence of it thus far. Round, fourth and final round. Tough fight to score though, Bob. How do you see it going into the fourth round? Well, I've got two rounds to one in favor of Tex Miles, and I don't know how they'll if they'll be scoring it here according to the bigger left looping left hooks landed by Rick Welliver or the nice clean inside smooth punches landed by Tex Miles, and certainly much more so landing by Miles than Welliver. And of course, we got to factor in the crowd control here. Hometown of Rick Welliver, he's certainly the hometown hero, although as you mentioned, Tex Miles transplanted now to the Washington State area. 
Originally from Houston, Texas. But you see Welliver's resting now, and he, he needs this round. He's got to make something happen in here, and, and I don't think he's got much left in the tank. Miles doesn't turn his punches around, turn them over very well, but he sure will move his hands. I would say an ideal weight for Welliver would have to be about 10 pounds lighter than where he is right now. Maybe more, take a look at the light heavyweight division. He's short as well. I was talking to Rowdy Welch before the bouts here tonight, and he told me he thought the kid should be a middleweight that he's worked with him before, but he certainly hasn't missed a lot of meals getting ready for this fight. No, and as we said before, he made his pro debut at 200 pounds. So maybe slowly working his way down. Only 24 years of age, pro career started back in February of 96. Compared to Tex Miles, who's 32, gonna be 32 this June. His pro career started in 94, then took a two year vacation and picked it back up in April of 96. And he's got a chance to put back to back wins there together as he lets go with about four punch combination on Rick Welliver. Punches from all angles. Minute to go in the fight. Arnie Tokyo Rosenthal along with Bob Spagnola. Nice inside work. Again, inside work by Tex Miles. And Tex well, Miles. Welliver looking like he's just trying to survive now at this point. Miles really putting an exclamation on point on this, the swing round in the four round fight. He's got to win this one, and he, it seems like he knows it. Keep Hot dogging a little bit, though, and he doesn't want to get careless. No, he's definitely playing to the crowd, but I think he knows at this stage of the fight that Welliver really doesn't have the power to hurt him with a single shot. Welliver walking right into that nicely timed jab by Tex Miles. We'll have to see what the local officials think here, Arnie. Uh, it's a tough one, you know. Will be a real disappointment. Tex Miles having a great fight and a great fourth round. Really oh. teeing off now on Welliver, whose head gets rocked back and just might have gotten himself enough time to, to hang in there. Another 10 seconds, and he looked like he might have been gone. Really had his head snapped back, and he's not real happy with his performance. And Tex Miles winks to, to the crowd, and he's very happy with his performance. But it's the judges' scorecards that are going to matter. How'd you see it at the end, Bob? Well, I had it three rounds to one in, in favor of Tex Miles. But you know it's important here. They want to have boxing, and, and we're going to use local officials up here in Idaho. They've got to be able to give a, an out-of-town fighter a fight like this, even though you know the, he, the other kid landed the harder punches. Miles just beat him by so many points that uh, it'll be interesting to see how they handle it. Well, we're going to go up to our ring announcer, Chuck Matheson, and he's going to tell us just how fair the local officials were. And he's still gathering the scores. As we look at Welliver, I think he already knows that he, he might be in for a, uh, a disappointing decision, bleeding from the mouth and the nose. Tex Miles looking to get his career turned around, came in one in three. Almost 32 years of age, so if he's got to make a move, he's got to make it really quick. And I would say uh, perhaps even cruiserweight for him may be pushing it a bit. Perhaps he can even go down. But it's funny, you mentioned that uh, Rowdy had mentioned uh, Welliver should be even down fighting at 160. Well, he's not a real big guy. I mean, he's dwarfed by, uh, by Tex Miles, who really doesn't seem to be a large cruiserweight in that. All right, waiting for the decision here. They're trying to gather the cards. Means it might be real close. All right, action. Fourth round action. Big round and big close for Tex Miles. Really looked like he had Welliver going there at the very end of the round. Yeah, Rick Welliver's coming forward for sure, but he forgot to move his hands. Welliver's never been stopped. He's only got one loss. Might be staring in the face of his second loss. All right. Referee trying to call both fighters to the center of the ring. 
Chuck Matheson finally has got the papers, and here's our official decision. Judge Gurley scores the fight 39-37. Judge Green scores the fight 38-38. And Judge Vassar scores the fight 40-36. The winner by decision, Tex Miles.